Hello and welcome once again to RimWorld. So, just checked our recipe database. We finished learning the simple prosthetic hand in the last episode. So, let's get the next step, which is the crafting a bionic hand. So, we'll take the simple prosthetic hand and we'll turn it into a bionic hand. So there's the simple prosthetic. If you can make two of those, please. And do until you have. Oh. There we go. Two of those. Now we should be able to do that because it doesn't need any plus steel. It just requires steel, which is actually a bonus. We did buy a lot of plus steel in the last episode. However, we are going to use a lot of that up to create a load of exoskeleton suits. However, thinking about it since the last episode, I am going to drop that back down to two. Because although it would be beneficial to have all of my people running around in an exosuit, I do want to have sort of what, well, the two of everything, and people are missing hands and arms, and I do want to be able to craft sort of the bionic hands and upgraded hands. So it's better for me to leave those for the moment and make sure I have the plasteel to build those in the future. Because it's going to take me a little while to build up enough stuff to sell again to make the kind of money to buy that much plasteel again. So I don't want to rush into using it all and then go, oh well it's gone now I have to wait 10 episodes before I can make more. So yeah. But without further ado we will start on full speed and uh, see what trouble we can get into today. So hopefully people will go out and collect all this plasteel. Ah, I see why, thank you very much. Ah. Uh, put you back to preferred storage because at the moment you're grabbing the meat and putting it into the storage because yeah forgot that would occur just a never ending job of moving the meat into the main storage that then gets moved back by the automation <laughs> now we still have a volcanic winter going on which is the atmosphere is choked with volcanic particles significantly reducing the amount of light which reaches the surface and temperatures will be cooler and plants grow slower. Now as far as I'm aware that shouldn't affect our plants in any way because our plants are indoors and the indoor temperature in here is 21 degrees because of our two heaters so they should be growing just at the same rate they always did. So nothing much to worry about. And the colder temperature outside well that's not actually that bad really. That just means stuff stays fresher longer. I and mean, look at that hay grass. Uh oh. Wow, it's 14 degrees out there. It ain't staying much colder out there than normal. You lie, volcanic winter. You lie. Now, it looks like, yep, yeah, the building work I had set for this last set of bedrooms has been completed. So now all of my bedrooms are stone. So can we now replace all of this wood with stone as well, please, for the first warehouse? Now I am thinking of having another couple of farms with the sole production being some of the drugs uh, or like the hops plants for the alcohol because I mean we've got so many of these um, fermenting barrels and they're not really in use much so I kinda wanna grow a lot more hops so that they're in use more often so yeah I might build another farm up here say They're a war merchant. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so I might build another 
farm up here. Same sort of size as these ones. With the sole intention of growing either hops or smoke leaf or a mix of all three. Um, you know, just so that we've got more drug production because I think that is a good way of making money. Right, before they get too far away, Rena. Uh, which one do I talk to? That one. Oh, Rena was outside. Oh, probably collecting the last of the plastic. Okay, they have a couple of monkeys. Not really something I need. Um, got some bows and arrows. Wow, we've already got more sculptures. Huh. I suppose sell a couple of them. Uh, just to take most of your money. That'll do. Yeah, that's the best combination. There we go. Just take the money. They didn't really have anything interesting I wanted off them, so... Yeah, Lippy's getting to work on the, the construction. Thank you very much. Always a good help. Now, we've not been attacked in a couple of episodes, so it looks like Randy's taking it easy on us for a moment. Then again, I'm qu quite happy about that fact, considering, you know, a couple of episodes Randy was trying to kill me. Oh, we've got an exoskeleton suit ready and built. Nice. So, the exoskeleton suit. What benefits does it provide? Manipulation plus 15%. Flammability is 100%. Wow, okay. Moving plus 15%. Nice. Hmm. I'm thinking given that, given that Chavez is frail, and so his manipulation and moving is lowered, you're going to be the first person that gets that exoskeleton suit. I think that is sort of the best thing I can do with it at the moment. So, Toxo, if you could prioritize the surgery, because I know that you're probably my best doctor after Chavez. Wow, you're at 12 now. Chavez is only at 14. That is pretty good. And every female is happy for a little while. Makes a change. Especially in this colony. Most of the time everyone is unhappy. So it's nice to have some people not. Come on. Do well. Wow, this surgery takes a while. But, success! So, Frail does give the minus still, but the Exosuit gives the plus. So, while he's still going to have an overall minus, he's now only got a minus of 15% instead of 30%. So, that is a bonus to me. Like, that, that's a good thing to me. So what are you crafting? You're searching for ingredients. What ingredients are you missing? Steel, components... Oh, you don't have the components. Because they're all over there. Right. Let's bump that up to 100 components, please. awesome because we've got enough steel not to worry about it it's just how long it takes to actually make them and 
it shouldn't take too long because this thing will slowly learn and then it will just speed through so yeah 100 components is fine and that will stop you know splitting them between the two and not having any then uh, the other thing I wouldn't mind doing to be honest is turn you to input then back to output Just because I wanted the gold to go over here. Because we're using the gold a lot more making like joy wires and everything else than we are to make advanced components. Like we're not making advanced components at the moment. We don't use them for much. You know, I'm not building another generator at the moment, so we're fine. And, ooh, looks like we have run out of marble. So, time to change these over to something else. What do I want? I could go limestone, yeah. Making grand sculptures. Wonderful. Now the other thing I wouldn't mind doing. Wow, we've nearly finished that building. Lovely. Flooring. I'm thinking slate. Because, again, that's something we have lots of. So. And you may be wondering why I'm taking up the flooring in these rooms. And that's because carpet is flammable. And I'm doing so much to prevent, you know, stuff being flammable. I am not leaving a flammable carpet on the floor. No thank you. I'll prefer to have a stone floor, which still gives me uh, quite a good buff. I mean, the carpet gives uh, a two beauty. And the stone floor gives a one. So it's not as good but it's not you know completely bad and that's just going to help prevent fire from spreading so if someone does break through and shoot like an incendiary launcher in the middle of the room the fire is not going to spread everywhere and burn the room down so yeah and eventually I will change all of the floor but again I don't actually have that much slate at the moment so we are going to need to get more then again, I might choose a different set of stone for each room. Like, have this one be slate, have this one be sandstone, so on and so forth. We'll see. Right. Ah, you're almost finished learning how to make a bionic hand. Right. So, this... So, a simple prosthetic hand, please. Output there. And this one is going to be a bionic hand. Output there. Obviously, we don't have one yet. But eventually, we will teach it how to. This is one of the problems with having this system, though. Because I'm upgrading previous prosthetics, I'm either going to have to have loads of machines doing this, or I'm going to have to have some of my colonists make some. And I may go down the route of having my colonists make some of them, but where I know I need a lot currently, because I've got a few people that need bionic hands, I'll do it automatically. Come on, last little bit. 
Okay, poison ship. Right outside my building. God damn you. Kinda sucks, but fair enough. What can you do? Uh, oh, you're making psychoid at the moment. Fair enough. And awesome, you've finished learning how to make a bionic hand. So if you could now look at how to make an upgraded bionic hand. And if you could learn to make a bionic hand, deal until you have two of. So that'll take the prosthetic, a bit of plasteel, and some components. Wonderful. Just what I want. Well, there's a lot of stone there waiting to be converted, isn't there? Or there's one of every stone. Oh, cool, because I put stones lower than making components. Yeah, that's fine. And Raph is on a binge. Really? Why? Just, just why? You've got a joy wire. You're massively happy. Why do you need to go on a binge? Critical alert fight. Oh. God damn you. Go away. I don't want that as a home zone. I know I built in those areas, but... That doesn't mean I need it to be a home zone. When you're first starting out, um, when you build and it adds a home zone in that area, it's a really good thing. But when you're managing your home zone and you have it perfectly set up to only be your inside, I wish there was an option to disable the auto expansion of your home zone. That would be amazing. Because then I could just, you know, get to this point, flick a little button, and go, right, it won't mess up. It will keep this zone as my home zone, and if I build over here, it won't make its own home zone again. Right. Now, if I mess with the poison ship, it's not going to sort of... But I'm too far away to sort of draw the mechanoids into my kill boxes, which kind of sucks. Then again, I've got enough plasteel and stuff. I could just build one of these, like, out here. So that when the mechanoids spawn, this thing just tears them apart. That's always an option. And yeah, these might get damaged or destroyed, but... Would it matter? But that's something to deal with in the next episode, guys. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.